This song by J. Frank Wilson and the Cavaliers um, was redone by Pearl Jam very well, and we'll go over that too, but I'm touching on the original to start. Um, you'll hear some bass starting, and then you'll hear the guitar come in. And what he's doing, we're going to be playing E, the relative minor of E, which will be a C sharp minor, then A, the fourth, and five will be B. Okay? So what we're going to do is pluck the fifth string twice, then go to three, four, and then five, five, as we move down from the E to uh, D sharp to our C sharp. So we're going to go. Then you want to form your um, C sharp minor, and you're going to hit that twice. Well, one more time because you've hit it moving down to it. So let me show you it from the beginning. One, two, three, four. Then what we're going to do, we'll hit the octave, which will be the third string. And then we'll go two, three, four. Okay? So we have this. We'll do this very similar pattern with the eight. Um, major chord here. We're going to hit the six twice. We'll go to the octave on the fourth string and then go three, four, five, and do the same thing here at the uh, seventh position. All right, so all together, let's do this together. One, two, three, four. So that's really the uh, picking pattern of the song. When they go into the verse, you can strum it to kind of change it up. And if you want to do that walk down, you can. You don't have to. stops on the E. So um, that really is the whole song. So how did I figure this out? This is for all you people who might not understand music theory. I got one of the chords and I figured it was an E. And then the next chord I heard in there was an A. So when I figured the E, um, usually right around here will be your other chords. So when I heard the E, I got the A and then the B. So that told me it was in the key of E. Okay, because we got E, our fourth, or the fourth step up from E would be A, and then B major is our fifth. So that's the main chords. And because I knew those were the main chords in the key this was in, three frets down, this is always your minor, and it's called your relative minor. So this C sharp minor is relative to E. And the reason being, if you played an E major scale and you played a C uh, minor scale, they're the same notes. So um, you can kind of look that up to relate, but whenever I know the key of a song, um, this is something that helps me a lot is, let's say it's a key of A. I know right below it is the fourth, which would be D, and right next to that is E. Okay, so if I'm in A, I go down three frets. F sharp minor is my relative minor. So with A, I'm sorry, E, A, and then B right next to it. So I hope that makes a little sense to you. Um, the Pearl Jam song, a lot of people have covered it. They're playing it in the key of G, so our relative minor would be E minor, because it'd be one, two, three steps down. So we got E minor, and then right below G is C, and right next to C is our D. Now, 
yeah, what I encourage you to do, and what I was doing when I was playing the song, was do some embellishments. So we got the G, and we're going to do our little walk down to E minor. Add your seventh when you strum it, okay? So that adds a little flavor to it. When you do your C, put your pinky down on the first string for that G note. Or you can put it on the second for a ninth. So it would sound. And then your D, add your sus forward by putting your pinky down or lifting your first or any fingers up. Okay, so we got. Anyhow, so you kind of get the idea of how to add some color to the songs when they're um, in the uh, open cowboy type chord. So I really, I know it's an easy song, but I really hope that helps everyone with how structure works and um, figuring out a song. Enjoy.